my mom after I uploaded part one to see what she thought of the video because I always do that and she was like oh honey <laughs> and she told me to do more than just boil some leaves in the next video so that's the plan hope you enjoy the video now back to cooking the chicken long rice chicken long rice is super delicious I'm actually gonna be cooking my mom's recipe today I made the broth yesterday with onions and ginger, lots of garlic. but I really like it spicy, so I threw them in. That broth was a powerhouse broth. I tasted it afterwards. It would have been great with anything. And so now I can take the stock out, scoop off the fat, and then put it back in a pot to boil, and then put my long rice in so the long rice will soak up all of the broth. I absolutely hate a messy kitchen, so I have to clean up as I go, just to make it seem less overwhelming when I'm done cooking. Otherwise, the kitchen is a disaster. <music> ever cooked a bunch, like made a luau, and then saved the cleaning up for last? Too much, so gotta clean as I cook. Okay, so the broth is heating up right now, and when it gets to a boil, this is actually where I'm going to diverge from standard chicken long rice. I guess I actually already did by adding the chili peppers in the broth, but whatever. Oftentimes my mom will throw in just leftover vegetables or whatever is in the fridge into whatever she's cooking, regardless of what's typical, and I, I like to do that too, just because it moves the food, keeps it going, and I have some leftover zucchini and also some shimeji mushroom. I think it's gonna go really well with the long rice. Basically any vegetable that goes well with chicken broth, which is almost every single vegetable, you could add to your chicken long rice and it would taste good. That's not traditional though. Shimeji mushroom. are cooked and the broth is hot so I just turned it off the heat and now I'm going to add my chicken long rice. So chicken long rice is actually a noodle. I don't have the brand of noodle that I should be using, the one that my family swears by. I just couldn't find it in the Asian grocery store. And so instead I'm going to use some hot pot noodles that I have. Mistake number 23.584. I should have used the good long rice noodle that my family swears by. The hot pot noodles just weren't the same. I mean, it did okay. It did soak up some of the broth, but just not nearly as much as the long rice noodle. And they soak up broth really well, so hopefully it'll work just the same. Kind of what it looks like. Good for hot pot, not for chicken long rice. A bundle of hot pot noodles, basically one serving. Ah, 
Gotham Cyburns. Tastes good. So that chicken I had boiled to create the stock, I shredded it and I'm gonna add some back in. So I added some of the chicken back in and green onions and the chicken long rice is done. Tastes good. Chicken long rice usually isn't heavy on the protein and I had boiled extra chicken to make sure that stock had more chicken flavor. So the remaining chicken, I'm going to make a lazy man's chicken salad. I have a bag of shredded cabbage that I just kind of like to have on hand because shredded cabbage goes well in pretty much everything I cook. Uh, this breaks my heart watching because the cabbage was bad. The cabbage was very bad and I don't know why it didn't occur to me. <laughs> It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. When I tasted it later, it was it was bad. But I threw in all that shredded chicken, all that beautifully cooked shredded chicken, which all ended up going to waste. What a sad day. I hate wasting food, so that was just really heartbreaking. Bam, salad done. I had already made this ginger garlic chili dressing. I think it's gonna go well. dressing over the cabbage and I wasn't planning to until Zach and I sat down for dinner and I'm really glad that I waited. I realized it was bad before I put the dressing in so I was able to save the dressing at least even though the rest of the salad I had to throw out because it was just mixed with a bunch of stinky old cabbage. But I did end up putting it on some eggplant. I scored the eggplant and then drizzled the dressing on top and baked it and it went awesome. It's getting hot in here. Okay, yes, I had three stoves of boiling right here, so it was getting plenty hot. Fair warning for the next issue that's going to come. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is embarrassing. That is actually the last of the footage that I have for that night, because I think it was like 9, 9 p.m. at that point, and I just decided, you know what, it is way too freaking hot. You know, sometimes when you're cooking in your kitchen, it gets too hot, and you just need to take off your pants. <laughs> I'm sure you do it too. So yeah, I turned off the camera because you know, I don't want to scare the children and I continued cooking. This is only going to be a little bit of reprieve because it was so stinking hot. And then I just never turned the camera back on. I didn't forget. I was just like, I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm done. Letting my hair down, taking my pants off. I'm gonna have this luau in traditional Hawaiian style. Just playing, I have no idea what people typically dressed for a luau back in the day. Well, I guess I can guarantee they didn't wear pants. So I don't have any extra video footage of the rest of that evening cooking, but I do have pictures. So Zach had to come and help me, which was really sweet. And I felt kind of bad too, because it was supposed to be his birthday party and I totally messed it up and got too tired and couldn't put on my pants anymore. So here Zach helped me strain the rest of the luau leaves and to that I added coconut milk and some extra crushed peppers, which you know I love to add crushed peppers to pretty much everything, and then simmered that down for 30 minutes. And that was it. Super simple, right? I could have kept my pants on for that, right? Nope, I couldn't. I was totally done. So to add the squid to the luau stew, you could do a couple things. Oftentimes people will stir fry it and then throw it into the stew, but I wanted to flash boil it. Squid needs high heat and a very short amount of time for it to cook to be really tender. I've had success in the past with just throwing it into hot boiling water 
and just for like 50 to 60 seconds letting it sit and then scooping it out. So that's what I wanted to mimic today. But unfortunately, mistake number 1042.993, I was too tired to execute this fully. So these are pictures of Zach helping me cut up the squid. And this is the basket that we used. I use this a lot for hot pot too, just to cook things in the boiling broth. And then you dunk, let it boil for 60 seconds and throw it in the pot. As you can see here though, the pot was clearly not boiling that much and it definitely needed to be hotter. Problem is when you're putting in squid each time, it cools down the pot and I was just not willing to wait. Like I was just done cooking in that kitchen and because of that, the quality of the squid kind of suffered a little bit. It was a little bit rubbery. So yeah. I promise if you eat my food, it's good. Just don't have me cook really late. So finally the squid luau, the chicken long rice and the supposed chicken salad were done. So that was the fail luau. It was still pretty fun. Probably not the best birthday gift, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Remember the thought. And no one died. I'd call that a success. Oh, and last thing, mistake number 2,463.212. Don't put candles in hot food because the wax will melt. I hope you try your own luau, and if so, feel free to use these recipes. I promise they're good, but don't make the same mistakes I did.